Hello, Clark. Hello, and welcome back to um, the, Elder, the Elder Scrolls Online Clockwork CD. And um, I was going to just go and do a uh, daily quest for uh, the boss, the group bosses ones are already completed. There were only two, I see. Yeah. Defeat both world bosses, and I already did that. Now, the other thing I have to do, um, yeah, I was just looking for the achievements. I was a caved out dweller, and there's only one more cave hill. But I can just probably pick that up during a day later, so I'm not sure. But, um, do it later on. But, um, I noticed while looking through downhill, I see, um, because there's some more stuff to do for, uh, like, more dailies, like, uh, complete seven brass fortress we supply dailies at one out of seven and one out of thirty. But also I notice um complete one black feather court daily. So I have um I can do dailies with a the uh, court of crows. <sighs> that um that um I saw last time saw met the crows last time on the last video. If you saw my last video. Apologies, yeah. But I am Blue uh, daily quest over hill. He for we supply, you know. But Boozer of tributes. Okay. I must confess that the Blackfeather Court's hoard has been depleted of late. Tributes have been few and far between. What do you say, my featherless squire? Care to aid our murder in its time of need? What kind of help do you need, exactly? The Black Feather Court seeks shiny baubles that glitter and gleam. Bring me ornate and decadent pieces of armor encrusted with gems and jewels that we can pick and mm. pluck. Our horde lacks these vital commodities, and only your assets can secure them. My assets. Your hands, crow friend. Our wings lack such ugly but useful appendages. Yeah. Now listen well. Plunder yeah, our can't scratch the my head, can you? <laughs> pieces that make a statement. Impractical things, but pretty when polished and shine. Yes. Bring such items to me. I bring you any animate pieces of Omar I acquire. Find ornate armor. Search devs and dungeons. Well, dang. I shouldn't have let Varia go in there alone. Okay. When a clockwork apostle discovers an unexplainable phenomenon, it can be a moment of unbounded joy or utter terror. That strange portal over there definitely falls into the second category. Let's go talk about the portal. Portals aren't a common occurrence in the Clockwork City. When Acolyte Varia and I approached to investigate, I had a sudden urge to leap inside. I was able to resist its pull, but Varia stepped through the portal and hasn't returned. Okay. And you haven't gone to look for her because... I need to make sure no one else wanders into the portal. But maybe you could go in and find Acolyte Varia. This perception tabulator automatically records whatever you experience and should be able to locate my associate. Take it and use it well. Okay, oh, I, I enter the portal and use your device to try to find your associate. Step into the portal when you're ready. The perception tabulator will locate Varia. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna do an optional quest and still try to do, do that for the birds. And completing the last dev. So you can some do and try to do three things at once. Find three born armors for the crows. Uh, doing an optional quest and also completing the last the last dev. Oof. That I still need to get like ornate armor and stuff. Ornament armor and stuff. Okay, I got chip scroll plate. Okay. Wow, 
was out. Wait. I think someone already been here before me. Okay. Night terror. This way yet. Let me just check this way. There's a small path. I'll probably be coming back this way anyway, much later, but whatever. Oh little gargoyle. Oh wait, I don't have my uh, clan fear. We get it. We're off time. No ornament armor. Yeah, it's only time I'll be coming back this way anyway. Okay, you own the wolves. My gloom wolf. Gloom wolf versus my uh, dire wolves. Yeah. My favor for a change. You have a perception tabulator. Did yeah. Adjunct Daro send you to find me? Of course yeah. he did. Listen carefully, and there might still be time to realign this befouled contraption. You did. How can you be talking to me? Uh, my character don't been talked to its other ghosts before. Why he like this is new, and also why she still look like a wolf cyborg. Anyway. That should be the least of your concerns. If you don't do exactly what I tell you, you'll end up like me. 
Then who will protect the Clockwork City from this oblivion infestation? You need to destroy the Shadow Array. What's a Shadow Array? Some foul device that Night Sister Chimera uses to lure people into the Shadow Cleft and bind them to these scarecrows. If you can destroy it, we'll be set free. Without the Shadow Array, Nocturnal's plans will be set back or even foiled completely. Why am I character going to say who's Nocturnal? Not so loud. Nocturnal has ears everywhere. She's one of the Daedra Princes. They aren't supposed to be able to breach the Clockwork City's defenses, but nothing works properly anymore. Hurry! You must destroy the Shadow Array! Yeah. Investigate Scarecrows. The one that, and there are one over there, so you may investigate it. Okay. Feels like I've been protecting this field for hundreds of years. But I'm certain I just entered this realm a day or so ago. Do you remember how you got here? What an odd question. I spotted a portal that should not have been there, and I yeah. entered it to see where it led. I determined that this shadow cleft is part of the Everglow. How I wound up trapped in a scarecrow, well, that's still somewhat hazy. Watch for Evergloom. I know Evermore is bad. You've never heard of the Everglow? It's the Oblivion Realm that belongs to Nocturnal, the Night Wait. I'm sure Battle this Spire, I think I heard it before. Or is it something sort of else? On the Clockwork City. But there's only so much I can determine in my current state. Also, uh, oh, was it mentioned on Battle Spire, or was that another place that was on Battle Spire? Oh well. By, owned by Nocturnal. Is there, anyway, I know that. Is there anything I can do? I see you have one of our perception tabulators. Continue your investigation and make sure that device gets into the hands of a clockwork apostle. Be careful. If you end up infused with a scarecrow, then everything you learn will be lost. Okay, I'll try not to get infused by a scarecrow. Pumpkins. Gloom wolves popping. You didn't notice nothing, you hag. Okay. Another scarecrow. How dare you interrupt my vigil? What nonsense impels you to such a rash and impetuous action? Virgil, why are you guarding. Why? Uh, yeah. Virgil, why are you guarding this field? You dare question the sacred duty that has been placed before me? I'll have you know I'm a. I'm a. What am I doing here? What is this place? I was hoping you'd tell me that. I remember coming to the Clockwork City when a teleportation ritual went awry. I was looking for a way out when I noticed a strange portal appear in the radius. An Einstein's portal. It called to me. Next thing I know, I'm standing guard over this empty field. You don't remember anything else. I remember that you interrupted my vigil. If my attention wavers for even a moment, those crows will take advantage and strip this field to the ground. Leave me! There are secrets in the dark and the night is here! You're nuts. Well, you're dead and your mind is gone. <laughs> This way we said are we? Time to do that then. Can I do that without getting past these enemies? Good. Actually, oh yeah. Okay, I need to keep on going. Let me see if I can sneak past these enemies. Okay. South and west and north. 
didn't notice level which hag. Well, I need to go that way anyway, so. Yeah, whatever. Well, dang. And down. Still had not really found no armor yet, so yeah. Night sister. Uh, okay, you. Why my vision look like this? I almost thought I uh, was um, almost near there, but I'm not. So why am I in but but bigger bosses help us start showing up deal for? Good. Shadow away destroyed. Actually, let me see if I pick some of that um well, that up. Ornament. Oh, good. How about this? Okay, that didn't count at all. Still one out of three armors, but yeah. You returned. I must admit, I wasn't sure you'd be able to do that. Do you have the perception tabulator? And what of Acolyte Varia? Were you able to locate her in Varia there? Varia died, but I destroyed a shadow array and freed her soul. Dead? Shadow array? I, I suppose the perception tabulator will explain everything. I'll study it right away. In the meantime, take this. A little something for helping the Clockwork Apostles today. Yeah. Some boots. Okay. Let me go for this way then. Hello, Sky Shard. Okay, I'm white here. I just went through the waterfall, down the waterfall, white right at this part of the Shadow Cliff. So, yeah. Okay, that was quick. I used to have my hands out, what make me pull my weapon out? Yeah. Actually before I go up, let me explore downhill more. Like, is there a chest or anything? Chest a chest would be good. Oh well, nothing. Time to get out then. Okay, apparently getting this these two didn't worry you work. Like for a Woody lever jacket. Hmm. Okay, from this. Okay, just looking on the screen a while ago, it's a only like from uh, devs and dungeons, but I'll call, also I can get from my other daily quest rewards. Hmm. Yeah. For that, you can just do an every supply uh, quest and. No one in Clockwork is going to miss the scrap. Yeah. Arvia needs more of the metal strands that are weaved into the clothing of Clockwork. Okay. Well, we can't collect the strands without more lodestones. I'll take the job then. Hand the supplies to me when you're done. And don't... I collect metallic fibers from cloth sources. Collect artificial lobstone parts. Talk to Larry. Okay. Listen up. 
Rasgard's got here. you looking for metallic fibers. Good. The air in Slagtown's not getting any cleaner. Can't tell me more about these metallic fibers. Most don't like to talk about it, but Slagtown's air is poison. Topside, the factotums rotate air filters constantly, but not in Slagtown. Uh. So I pick up the slack. Turns out the metallic fibers weaved in clockwork clothing make great air filters. I got other uses in fibers. What can you tell me about for the Lord Lobster? Ah, that. Quite a wonder. See, when you switch it on, metal scraps stick to it like tar to a glove. I'd love the thing if it didn't break so damned often. If you gather the parts I need, I can keep it working and maybe even make new ones. Okay. Have metal fibers. Like most things in clockwork, our clothing is given to us by Set's grace. It's hard to notice at first glance, but our manufactured cloth is woven with metallic threads. Okay. I'm still not sure why, but hey, don't mock the polish of a gifted spring. Okay. Torn cloth. Metallic fibers. Should I? Yeah. If I was just saying it's on that deal, but yeah. The mnemonic plane spiel. Oh, me too, yeah. Okay. Follow me. The planet is right through this door. But these books heal. There's some lore I right heal. I do. Nothing. I I want to. But oh, I did that. Still checking for Imperial style. Okay. Astronomer, I found someone who can help us. Uh. Okay. Are you all right? Please rest if you need it. I have maintained these stars for millennia. Do not concern yourself. Okay. Yes, much easier to explain now. This is the demonic planisphere where Sotha's seal memories take yeah. the form of stars. We need your help to reclaim the stars that have fallen and place them back in the sky. If not, all shall be lost. I'll be lost. All this knowledge! Sotha seal's memories are our most important source of inspiration, of discovery. Without them, the clockwork apostles will be lost, stagnant and unguided. Please, for the sake of our most sacred knowledge, you must help. Oh, you convinced me. How do we return the stars? Thank you for understanding what this means to my order. I need you to gather the primary stars belonging to the points of our constellations. Once enough stars are returned to the rightful place, the rest should fall into ranks. Eventually. How do I collect stars? With this. Now, this device has a very fancy proper name, but I simply call it the Star Scooper. Use it to gather Good stars star you floating around more the simple. Halls, and bring it back here to the astronomer. He'll know what to do next. Questions? No. Okay. Left or right? Or west and east? Let's just go east. Take. Okay, do that then. Good. I thought I still need to Actually, I need to go down there if I want to collect the uh, artificial part.
Yeah. So many bookshelves. Okay. Wait, it still say whatever. Let's go that way and I'm not sort of seal. Six four with errant stars. Goodbye. Another star, good. Okay. Come back here, you. Okay. Five out of six. Now back this way. Okay, I see one now, finally. On the map. Whoa, whoa, pal. One out of three. Just like on that, it's just nothing. Last star. Give a star scooper to the uh, dominer. But before that, let me see if I can find more of a uh, artifact of the Ob stones. Okay, so you one. This way. And they they uh, go another one. Two out of three, that's good. And goodbye robot. I could get that and sell it, but yeah. Good. Now let's just find those um, cloth sources. You've returned. Quickly now, give the star scooper to the astronomer. Okay. You're in for a real treat. Not many get to witness this. Oh dear, that's not good. That's oh, not good okay. at all. Sorry, but I have to go check on something. The astronomer will explain. Okay, uh, what's wrong? Six stars refuse to answer my call. The okay. primary constellations remain incomplete. Their instability threatens the integrity of the entire planisphere. Unless returned, I fear all memories will be lost. Even to the clockwork god himself. So I say we lose his memories? The planisphere was created as an extension of Lord Seth's consciousness. Connected, okay. yet apart. An endless sky of divine knowledge, perfectly preserved. We must protect the planisphere at all costs. We must help 
the stars remember. Why are we to the stars? Memories are fragile, easily broken, easily swayed. My powers of guidance and preservation are not so easily replicated. The cultists seek to control, but only corrupt. I must stay here to keep the constellations stable. It is up to you. Oh, must I do? Go to the calibration guides located upon the platforms which surround us. Okay. Use them to guide the missing stars back to their rightful place in the sky. My apprentice will show you how. Who are you? I, see. I am the astronomer, keeper of the stars. A wheel that ever turns. It goes beyond my own mere flesh. Oh, yeah. Soon, my apprentice will receive this title. And I will take my final step upon this path. Oops. Yeah. I have upheld this divine task for millennia. My devotion may be unwavering, but my flesh is not. I must give this duty to another before my power fades. Only then will I allow myself to finally... Okay. So I need to go back to a real level. He's the rest again. Be skippy. How dare you get in the way of our mistress's plans? Okay, Argoyan. But you're not a fellow Argoyan, you're a mean Argoyan. That wasn't considered good enough. Yeah, I've been in this room earlier, so. Wait, huh? Okay, whatever. Aged and. Kind of, kind of confusing. Look okay, at this place. I think this is the place I need to be. Let me just scoop them up. And now, watch this. Okay. Where they're supposed to be on the calibration guide, we can send them on their way. Okay. Our world of what stars should be. Okay. I have to do that. The stars have forgotten where they belong. Use the calibration guides on the floor to show them where to go. The matching constellation on the planetosphere sky will show you the way. In the meantime, I'll continue to keep the star stable. Why do you need to keep it? This is a rather tricky process. The stars are fragile things. He has to concentrate on keeping... Okay. I say on the floor, so... This is confusing. Where he'll be. Not that way confusing, but yeah. The stars have forgotten where they belong. Use the calibration guides on the floor to show them where to go. The okay. matching constellation. Well, I still need to go over there and that one. 
Oh, there we go. Uh, you may look at that again now. One, two, three, four, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try right here instead. Good. Now, the star scoop have kept a record uh, of what's now. inside those stars. Let's have a look, shall we? Fragments and memory of Lord Set speaking to someone. This must have been what the cultists were looking for. Stewardship of my memories carries a high price, okay. all of us. One that you must pay willingly. Wait, was that the astronomer? He was so young! And with hair! Not half bad looking either. Okay, now they do better ones. Okay, there's another um bad guy here. I don't think if I don't beat all three, I'll probably get. Something. A cheap owl. Just now, but bring one. Okay. Hmm. No, that didn't kiss her as one. Time to go this way now. Time to align more stars. Time. Uh. Okay. Ooh. I see. Okay, one, two, three. Hmm. One pipe will be my heel. And yeah, better one will be my heel. Concentrate. I understand. I'd sacrifice anything to serve you, my lord. Sacrifice? Okay. Well, that doesn't sound very good. Well, on to the um, next one. Okay, this is the last. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. Three bosses, you can say, but that didn't do nothing. Probably the last door, the other boss, 
because usually after a request there's a boss, it seems. So yeah. Ooh, this is more challenging. Uh Part of my hill. You have to yep. be careful with these. It's easy to overwrite memories with your own. Of course, my lord, but will it hurt? You will not remember. That doesn't sound good. Okay. What happened in this memory? Okay. We've collected all the memory fragments we need. Let's head back to the Planisphere Center so we can watch the whole thing. Yeah. Oh, I wish I can teleport. Yeah, that was reckless, but whatever. At least I failed. Got downhill. Now that we've returned the stars and recovered the memory fragments, the astronomer can use the nemograph here to play the full memory back. I'm rather curious about its contents. Okay. We need to be able to reform memories at a moment's notice. After all, apostles often travel from the Brass Fortress to research mm -hmm. Lord Set's thoughts. This nemograph translates the starlight into a visual form. Is it is one of is a memory of uh, astronomers? I just know it's him. It looks like he's receiving some sort of boon from Lord Set, but I don't understand why that would be important to the cultists. I doubt you can easily replicate the powers of a god, even with the memory of the spell. Let's take a look. Stewardship of my memories carries a high price, all of us. One that you must pay willingly. I understand. I'd sacrifice anything to serve you, my lord. Even my memory. Wait. The sacrifice So be it. His memory? I'll leave you the knowledge of this spell to bestow upon your successor when the time comes. Of course, my lord, but will it hurt? You will not remember. No! It can't be! Now uh -oh. you know the truth. It is time. Oh no. You never told me of this sacrifice. My life, yes, I'll give it. But my mind, my whole being. Speak with her. Okay. I don't like that idea of this. I know my duty. My whole life has been devoted to this path laid before me. I know the risks. The repercussions to the planisphere should I refuse. The repercussions to my god. Why then? Why am I so scared? Why do you have to lose your memory? Manipulating the stars requires severe concentration. They're easily corrupted by stray thoughts, rendering them useless. Not having a memory must help ease that burden. Do you think you could go through with it? The excitement of becoming an apostle. My frustration when so many doubted me. How nervous I was for my first kiss. To give it all away. I would lose more than my memories. I would lose myself. Is it worth it twice? I know the astronomer's power is fading. I feel it. He needs to transfer his power, and soon. If he dies before another apprentice could be found... The Planisphere needs me. My god needs me. Can I really be so selfish? Is too much of a sacrifice, or...? Hmm. I, if I do that, she won't remember me anymore. If I do that way, she... <sighs> it's too much of a sacrifice to us herself. Or you can face. It's too much of a sacrifice. I've always been a Millie. 
Good for a joke, here for a laugh. Surely that's my purpose in life. I can best serve Lord Set by bringing both joy and discovery. I've made my choice. Will you stand with me as I tell the astronomer? You make me feel brave. Of course. Astronomer, I just can't do it. I just can't give up who I am. I can better serve Lord Set as myself, and I'll find someone to take my place. I swear it. Someone willing. So be it. You have made your choice, Apostle. Yeah. And now you will bear the consequence. You will be shunned from our order, cast oh. out. Until the time which you can undo the wrong you have begot upon your people. Uh -oh. Until you have brought me my successor. I... I'll do it. I'll accept this fate. May Sotha Seal watch over your path. For I can no longer guide you. Oh boy. What is it that you want? Will you be all right? I have maintained this position for over a millennium. It is my sole purpose, the path given to me by the divine metronome. I have no regrets. I thank you for your efforts. A reward is common for these situations, yes? I hear you are. Okay. I must attend to the planisphere. I have much to prepare, and for the first time within my memory, I feel the weight of my hours. Still, you have done much for these sacred halls. What is it that you wish to ask? Why are there still stars roaming the halls? The cultists corrupted many mnemonic receptacles in their search for information. It will take time to restore these memories, and guide them to their place in the sky. In the cottages. Oh, they are of little concern to me. Once the stars are guided, I shall focus my energies on expelling them from the planisphere. Until then, my power will be sufficient to keep them at bay. Okay. Wait a minute, I mean, that didn't give me a trophy I was hoping for, but yeah. Okay, um... I didn't really complete no daily quest, but, um... Yeah, i just end this video here. Just these two optional quests are good enough. Anyway, this has been Clyde. I've been playing Valor Scrolls Online. Clock... Work City DLC. Thanks for watching, goodbye, and happy gaming.